Well, the White House is the people's house. Michelle and I and the girls, we understand that we're here for a limited time and we're here because we have this incredible privilege of serving the American people and looking after them and what they are concerned about. I think everybody, the first night they spend in the White House are a little overwhelmed. Uh, you know, the White House is such an icon in American life and around the globe, and the notion that you'd be sleeping in a bed inside of it uh, is uh, a little bit intimidating. And at least when you've got a couple kids, you pretty much get into a routine because you know that you're going to have to figure out uh, how to wake them up and make sure they get to school on that first day. So. Uh, the transition was smooth, but uh, that first night, you kind of wake up at a, with a start a little bit and say to yourself, my goodness, what am I doing here? Every day, uh, although you consider it the place you live, I think you're very mindful that uh, this is a place of history, uh, that this is a place that belongs to the people and to the country. As much as you want to feel comfortable in that place, you also want to feel a little bit of reverence for the fact that down these halls Lincoln has walked and uh, in these rooms FDRs made decisions that uh, had uh, impacts around the world. While you're here you may be part of the first family uh, but once your term's up you're going to be a citizen once again and, and that I think is both uh, humbling uh, but uh, extremely gratifying because it reminds us that this is a democracy and those who uh, come into this office uh, are here temporarily. And someday soon there's going to be somebody else who uh, takes up that mantle and you just make sure that during the time that you're here you're doing the best you can to serve uh, the people who sent you.